Hello. Hi. Hi, Emily, Jonas. Thank you so much. This is great. I really appreciate the chance to chat with you. Oh, thank oh, it's you. Our pleasure. The film is so much fun. It really is. It's it's so funny. <laughs> um, and and honest and feels real even though it isn't you know it's or at least i hope it isn't uh, <laughs> we don't have kids together no, so it's not God. it's not real yeah right 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 <laughs> well uh, jonas i'm just wondering i know you wrote the script where where did the idea come from um it came from it had started off as something else we we made a film 10 years ago called my awkward sexual adventure another sex comedy and it was and we had a lot of fun and it did really well and so i felt this pressure of oh i should write another sex comedy I have another one ready to go so i developed it around that time with the director sean garrity and ultimately we kind of just felt like we didn't have much more to say on the topic of you know sexual insecurity and and it just felt like it wasn't the right time for us. So we moved on and we did other things. And then we came back around to it 10 years later when both Sean and I had been married to our wives for many, many years and we had kids and we kind of had gone through this journey and came out the other side and suddenly we dusted off the script and felt like, well, it does feel like now we have a different perspective and other things to explore here. And so I, I kind of channeled that into this script and then sent it to her. And that's sort of where it all <laughs> came together. Well, it is it is great in some ways. I, I wondered about the two of you getting back together here because uh, I remember my awkward sexual adventure. I mean, the film. I mean, <laughs> my own. Uh, <laughs> but but what was it like getting getting the team back together? Did you did you feel like this was a spiritual sequel to the film? What was that like? Oh, that's uh, interesting. That? That's what I've been calling it. It's a spiritual successor because it's not like a sequel. These are different characters, and um, but it it is amazing that it felt like for me at least like no time ever passes between us like we could um not speak for a year and then it's just back riding the bike um so it's great especially in sex comedies i think to have such um trust and and a shorthand with each other feels it feels safe and so you can do those things that you said where it's like it's both funny and real and awkward and all the things that a real relationship is. And for us, we got to bypass the whole, uh, oh, well, let's be on our best behavior. Let's get to know each other. Let's figure out where our boundaries are and our limitations. And we had tr immediate trust and we did a film in between the two. So we've, we have known each other. We've been friends for 10 years. So it was really like, it was really like just picking up where we left off. Um, yeah. except that we both had had 10 years of experience in life yeah. and had gone down these other roads and we both had, you know, lived our lives and had come back around and shared, where are you now on these topics? And it, we were kind of aligned kind of beautifully and it, it dovetailed yeah. into the script. So it, it was, it was really fun too. We make each other laugh a lot. Yeah. So. I mean, I make you laugh. She makes me laugh. <laughs> That's fair. It's only one way. I, you know. Well, she laughs at me. So yes. we're both laughing. Yeah. But it's like, but it's slightly different. It's yeah. nuanced. <laughs> That's fair. Well, you know, I'm glad, I'm glad that you both said the word trust. Um, that comes up on screen, you know, having, when I, when I saw the film, you could sense that there's, there's genuine trust between you both, mm. but let's talk about sex. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. It, it sounds Hooper. like a pivot. It sounds like a pivot. <laughs> um, do you think it's hard for us to talk about sex and even as even in our marital relationships? Yes. Uh, oh yes. Especially in them. I actually feel like it's easier, was easier to talk about sex with strangers 100%. than than the person that you were because I don't know why, but... Um... Well, I guess because there's so much attached to it. And part of what I'm exploring in the movie, you know, is about how the way that pop culture and the media and make it sort of puts these unrealistic yeah unrealistic expectations on you of like what it's supposed to look like how much sex you're supposed to be having what that sex is supposed to look like and it becomes this giant messy confusing matrix where you're just like i'm better off just not addressing any of this and yeah. i think one of the things we've been talking about is when you watch this movie with an audience whether it was at tiff or when i saw it in festivals in glasgow or in dublin it's like at first there's this kind of 
uncomfortable sensation in the audience when they see the movie opening a married couple and they're having trouble with their sex life and <laughs> but then people start laughing and everybody has this like oh Dude, i'm not you alone too. you too yeah you too <laughs> and they kind of all it's like we've all had this meeting together where we come out in the lobby and everyone is you know right. sharing their own experiences of so there's a relatability and it sort of seems to be more universal than even i assumed it was when mm -hmm. i made when i wrote it yeah that that was one of the things that really struck me about it is that it is one of these things that you know even even amongst my own friends who are married couples don't don't talk about it like somehow it, there's there's a wall yet on a cultural level i mean it's still a little awkward but it's still more open um and i like the fact that that you said you know pop culture sort of says this is what it should be Mm -hmm. um but do you think we make too big a deal about sex on a grander scale or or is it really essential in our in our relationships oh, that's, that's <laughs> a, i told you we're talking about sex that's a deep <laughs> cut um i mean i think i think it's different for everybody and i think it's different for every relationship mm -hmm. but i do think I do think that it can get in the way. I mean, part of, you know, not to give anything away about the journey in this movie, but you meet this couple and, you know, I think everyone would agree in the first six, seven, eight minutes, they're great. They, they're, they, they're happy. They're laughing. They're great parents. They have this lovely life together. And then they open up Pandora's box and they, and by in opening that box, they invite chaos into their lives you know and they go through a, a journey and we won't say what happens at the end but it's exciting and sexy and fun and so hopefully surprising but i think that in, in 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 inviting that chaos in you are opening yourself up to a vulnerability and mm -hmm. you know and maybe in some cases it's better left yeah can you go back to the way it was before i mean sex can be sex is you know important to it's it's a there's a, a spectrum of uh, how important it is to you i mean there are people who identify as you know asexual aromantic where that's just not a part of their lives i mean so i don't think that sounds, that sounds like there'd be no problem right that sounds like a pretty smooth sailing ride yeah. you didn't have to worry about that yeah. at all um so i i think that we're starting now maybe as a culture as a society to to look at it with a little more of a sophisticated eye to say this is very layered. I mean, it used to be, you know, even just talking about human sexuality, you were either straight, mm -hmm. gay, or bi. Mm -hmm. Well, as we know, there is, you know, there is an unlimited spectrum mm -hmm. of sexuality. And I think the same goes for what sex means to you individually. And I think we're looking at it through a lens of being older now, too. Like, I think this would have felt different to us when we were younger. We would, huh, I would have never thought the end of sex when I was yeah. 20. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. Or even but now, even yeah, even ten years ago, when we made our first sex comedy, you know, we were just joking about this because at that time in our lives, we were so much energy, very energetic, <laughs> very very Never. amorous, in, you know, in our own worlds, <laughs> and like focused on it. And things change, and you change, and you develop, and you get you get tired. It's time. <laughs> Who has time for that? That's, that's the best word ever. <laughs> Look, I, I'm tired. It's, and tr and that's true. That yeah. is true. Like there's, you know, when you're when you're 25 and you know you're you're just starting out in life, it's a very different relationship to. Well, relationships are very different at that time as well. You haven't done everything. Like I did everything. Yeah. she has done everything, everything. Let me tell you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but it's true. Once you've like, you know, there's there's that element of there's that element of like, well, I've ticked all those boxes. Yeah. Yeah. The threesome, like, yeah. oh, it's a lot. It's of work. a lot of work. Got to make everyone feel included. Yeah, it's it's Ugh. tough. All that stuff's tough. Yeah. Well, you know, one of the things I love about this, <laughs> this is fantastic. I love um, it. It's super awkward. It, yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah. But this, honestly, right? sex is awkward. But this is part of the joy of the film, is like you said, is it sort of kicks open that door a little bit. Whereas, you know, my awkward sexual adventure is sort of like, coach me. This one is sort of like, I, I don't know how to talk about this anymore. And uh, so I'm just wondering for you both. And, you know, I'm moving on a little bit here. This, this film is very much about connection 
as well as it's not just about sex it's about more than sex this is about relationship i'm just wondering what you think it means how you know you really connected with another person oh boy oh. he's asking the deep i know i know this guy what is it what is not you know you oh oh i do think when i have realized that a relationship in any form, not even romantic, but just is is real in a way is usually when you've gone through something and come to the other side of it uh -huh. better and like going through the hard stuff and not it separating um, is the thing that has always made me feel like stronger in the relationship and like that's real. That's I mean, you just nailed it. You nailed it. Because, yeah, because because the 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 honeymoon phase or the excitement or the joy of new attraction or new love, that's the easy part. Yeah. You know, your endorphins are running, your adrenaline is high, you're uh, you every you know, you're on your best behavior. Yeah. But then you hit a rough patch and it's well, okay, well, how are you? How do you work in crisis? And yeah. how do you do you get through it or does it break mm -hmm. you apart and every time you get through a crisis or you get through something difficult or you experience something hard together it it's it fills the, the bucket really yeah good. character building and it builds a relationship so I, so I would say too that that's that's yeah going through hard shit together is what kind of builds that like for Josh and Emma going to that sex club it was dirty and nasty and they got out of it and so it was charming and the, doing the <laughs> doing the jugs yeah was scary and, and, that, and that grueling threesome was was you know a real challenge but they got you but they got through it or did yeah. they you'll have to watch oh the yeah to find yeah. out yeah. finding colin mockery in a in a sex club won't won't help either no uh, <laughs> well it might dude <laughs> nope you, uh, <laughs> it doesn't help <laughs> Oh, honestly, the the film is so much fun to you. I, I really think it's I really think it's a blast for you both, though. What do you hope people take away from it? I know what you take away from it. Um, I, I feel like that's the reaction we've seen from people is that they feel affected and both um, joyous about like the experience of watching it and that it also hits a kind of real place that hasn't been touched before really no pun intended yeah. I, I i do feel like first and foremost i want people to laugh yeah. that is why we make comedies uh secondly it's sexy um it's exciting i want people to you know definitely get into that but 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 most but then at the ultimately if you if you can find something familiar in it this is this is the thing that is all that i find as the writer and the lead actor in it to come away from it and feel like people are relating to it on a you know deep personal level um i, I don't know i'm always surprised by that that in, in in exploring whatever whim i'm exploring in my stories anytime there's a connection that people connect to it internationally in canada in europe in the uk in the states that makes me feel really good about what we're doing. And so you kind of feel like you're not alone, that there's mm -hmm. other people are go having a shared experience. And that's, that's, mm -hmm. yeah, that's kind of fun and special. Well, I think the thing that makes this work so well is because it does feel so authentic to so many different experiences. You know, it's just, it's just, and it, and it starts, opens the door for couples to ask questions about themselves and, and about where they're at as, as well. Because once you get someone to helps you get that conversation started, um, the doors are open. That's and so true. You don't go to this movie with your significant other and not talk about your sex I, life. I after. guess, I, I hadn't thought about that. Like, I, I guess- I just thought about that. You, 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 if you're on, this is a date movie or you're with your partner and you leave, you're, you're kind of, you're either gonna have that conversation or you're deliberately not gonna have yeah, that conversation. Yeah which is in a way having a conversation, conversation so. that's me yeah so good for us yeah yeah we helped people we really did <laughs> <laughs> world a better place. or created the new title for the sequel my awkward ride home which yeah. uh, <laughs> that's, that's really good. funny that's, that's really good. good my awkward ride home that's good <laughs> well, i appreciate chatting with you both thank you thank you so much uh, thank you. appreciate the time thank Have you so much take Bye. care thank Thanks. you
Have a Bye. great day.